The iPhone 5S launched and it features a new fingerprint sensor in the home button to lock and unlock your phone. Nine million have already been shipped in just a week and Americans have reported how they've set up the phones to be unlocked using their tongues or their cat's paws, or in some cases their nipples, which doesn't sound very practical. But you would think using your fingerprint to secure your phone would be a really smart solution. However, within a day of the product launching, an organization in Germany called the Chaos Computer Club claimed that they'd hacked Apple's Touch ID system. So how did they go about doing it? Is it a hard thing to do? Well, fingerprinting itself, or dactyloscopy, which is not easy to say, and it's worth 25 points in Scrabble, is actually a really good way of identifying different people. It's better even than DNA, which of course can be shared by identical twins. There have been no two people that have been found with an identical fingerprint. And in fact, the statistics suggest that there's a one in 64 billion chance of having the same fingerprint as somebody else. Now, most of our body is covered in smooth skin, but it's just our hands and our feet that have ridges over the, over the entire surface. And that's thought to be to help our sense of touch, the friction that we feel as we touch the surface, but also to help us grip things. And these ridges actually form in the womb. So up to about 20 weeks, as we grow fingers and our nails, the skin is forming these ridges. And at 20 weeks, it's fixed. And those patterns stay with us for the rest of our lives. So if you were to look at your fingertips, look at your fingerprint, you would likely see one of three patterns. Firstly, you might see an arch, which is just an undulation in the ridges. Secondly, you might see a loop and the loop could veer slightly off towards your thumb or slightly off towards your little finger. And the third feature to look for is a spiral or it's called a whirl, a W-H-O-R-L, whirl. So if it's so hard to map and to see and your fingers are so complicated, how did these guys in Germany manage to hack the system? Well, they didn't chop anybody's fingers off and Apple have been very, very careful to make sure that technology wouldn't work if you tried that. What they did do is they managed to get hold of an image of somebody's fingerprint. Now, what they say, their method, their claim is as follows. If you can get hold of an image, you need to scan it or take an image at a very high resolution, so 2,500 DPI, 2,400 DPI. You then take that image, pass it through something like Photoshop, clean it up and invert the image. And then you need to print it at 1,200 DPI on something like a laser printer with a very high toner thickness. So if you print that onto an acetate or something with a shiny finish, you then, as a final step, paint that with a latex or a PVA glue or something that will set rubbery. You leave it to dry, leave it to set, and then if you peel that thin layer off, it will have the undulations and the curve of the original fingerprint. If you place that on your finger, you can then put that on the phone and you will unlock the fingerprint sensor. And this has been shown on a number of videos posted on YouTube by this organization. So Apple, of course, are fighting to keep up. I'm sure they will come up with a solution to that. And we will keep our finger on the pulse and make sure that we're aware of any developments and we bring them to you. And of course, we will clean our fingerprints off anything that we've touched in the meantime. If you want to subscribe to anything else on Head Squeeze, you know the drill. Just click on the subscribe button.